Hi everyone and welcome to Mommy Mondays. I'm Gianna and I put out videos on Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays we do Mommy Mondays, Mommy Madness, Mommy Magic, Mommy Mayhem, all the things that come along with being a mommy. And on Fridays we do Closet Conversations which is uh, where we're leaning into luxury. So it's luxury, fashion, art, uh, different closet finds, gadgets, that sort of a thing. I'm trying to steer mostly to luxury, but some things, you know, go hand in hand. But anyhow, we make the conversation go anywhere it wants to. And if you're okay with that kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Turn on the bell for, so you can get notified when I put up new videos. And if you think someone else would like this type of content, please go ahead and share it. And as usual, I ask everybody to comment down below so that we can have a conversation going. It's a conversation, not a monologue. <laughs> so um, let me know what you think. So today um, I'm going to be talking about... How I save money as a mommy because we need to be saving money as mommies right um I know this might sound a little what do you call that counter counter I don't know the word um it might sound odd yeah, well, okay, so remember, I do Mommy Mondays, and then I do Closet Conversations, and in Closet Conversations, I talk about luxury. So it might seem a little hypocritical, oxymoron-ish, um, counterproductive, if I uh, talk about saving money on one hand and spending money on the other hand, right? Because typically luxury is spending, and if your mom is trying to save, like, why are you trying to save if you're spending on luxury? Let's be real, right? So I think that a lot of mommies who like luxury um, want to get the most bang for their buck, right? So they it's not that they want to deprive anything, but they want to have all the savings wherever they could. And if they could save on luxury, they would too. So it's kind of about getting all that you want. Um, sorry, my boobs are filling up because my son is sleeping and I'm still breastfeeding. So. This might actually get bigger as we talk. <laughs> um, so yeah, so um, so you kind of want to save money wherever you can so that you can afford more things, more luxury, more stuff for your kids, whatever it is, right? Or both, or everything. Now, I've always been the person that wanted more bang for my book. Always, 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 always. Even if I had a wine budget, I want the best champagne on that wine budget, right? If I have a beer budget, I want the best champagne on the beer budget. I always want the best um, of whatever I like. Like, so I'm not going to turn around and buy the best simply because it's the best and everybody says it's the best and everybody wants it. But if I want it and I want the best of what I want and when I see that best, I like it, I want it. I'm going to find a way to get it. So, in order to do that, we all have a balancing act, act, especially in these times, because I don't know about you guys, but food prices make me feel very, uh, <laughs> like I'm doing something frivolous by simply eating three times for the day. Like, why does it have to be three times? It should be like two times. It should be one time, because we can't afford the three times anymore, can we now? Um, so, you know, because of these food prices and everything else, everything is going up, everything, everything. So we need to find that balancing act. So how I save money as a mom, I'm going to give you all the ways that I can think of. I did not, in full disclaimer, disclosure, I did not do a list. I didn't write down a list. So these are all gonna come off the fly, off the top of my head. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad one, but we're gonna find out together. So, how do I save money? Well, the first one that I can think of is I thrift. 
I thrift. Now, uh, in Jamaica in particular, for those of you who are not Jamaican, Jamaicans actually don't like the idea of thrifting on a whole. Um, minds are changing now. Uh, you know, the culture is shifting a little. Uh, people are becoming more informed, more exposed, and they understand the concept as they have more family members living abroad and they visit abroad. They understand the concept of thrifting. There are certain things that I still don't think that they would thrift. Um, but there are those of us who understand thrifting and there are probably things I wouldn't thrift either, but I thrift things for my son, especially. So the first thing I'll tell you is that I um, have two car seats for him. One in my husband's car, one in my car. Those car seats were in my Amazon cart for, um, you know, I don't like to talk prices, but since we're talking about saving money, I'm going to talk prices now. So those two car seats were in my car. It was the exact same car seat in my car for $160 each brand new from Amazon. Now, he had an infant seat from before that I was gifted on my um, registry, also from Amazon, same brand, Graco. Um, and it was, he, he was getting too tall for it because he's supposed to take a year to get to the height to come out of it. But my son was tall from, he came out. So, um, so because of that, he was like halfway through, like six months, we already knew we needed a new car seat. And then we'd have to get two because this kind of car seat is not the infant seat that clicks in and goes. This one would have to be like installed and stay. So we said, okay, fine. So two were in my, my, my cart, $320 plus tax, right? And I decided that I was, when I was visiting Florida, I was going to visit um, a thrift store that is very nice and organized and all that because I hate the ones that you have to rummage. Um, so me and my aunt walked into that one and I kid you not, we walked straight down the baby aisle and the first thing I stopped in my tracks and I was like, oh my God, that's the car seat that's in my um, Amazon cart right now. And I pulled it up and I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked and I, looked and I was like, oh my God. Okay, it was $14.99 and it was a brand spanking new. So, my aunt who lives there and knows this store very well was like, someone's going to get it. We have to grab it and put it behind the counter like right now. So, she picked it up. She she was going to put it in, uh, in the back and I turned around and I said, but you know, I really need two. And like I was looking at her face and then I looked down. And when I looked down, <laughs> there was another one. I kid you not. And it was also $14.99. This one was not brand spanking new. This one had light use. And the only reason I knew was because there was a pink marker spot. Like, a, like it caught it on the seat. Nothing else would tell you that it was used so my aunt goes oh my god I was like oh my god so she picked up the other one and she's like struggling to the counter to tell them to put them behind <laughs> because I spent $30 on two car seats that were gonna be 320 plus tax so um that happened in a thrift store. The other thing that happened in a thrift store is I've gotten shoes for my son for $3. $3. And if the shoes weren't brand new, I don't know. I still take them home and wash them like I did with the car seats, right? I still took them home and wash them. $3. He wore them for like months and months and months. And then someone else contacted me that needed shoes and stuff for her baby. And I gave away the shoes so another child got to wear them 
off for the three dollars like this is not <laughs> we're not breaking the bank here um i got a stroller there as well now i borrowed a stroller i've both times i've gone to the u.s and borrow ended up borrowing a stroller or borrowed one from here to take there it was because it was more compact than mine i got the same one that came with the infant seat is what i ha had right and it's too big too heavy it was like one of them jogging strollers i'm going to unless you are a jogger i am going to dissuade you from buying a jogging stroller don't even put it on your on your registry it is too big for everything it can't go through first of all if you go through an airport with it if you're a traveling mom like i am if you go through the airport with it first of all you know how you can gate check a stroller so they put it down the jogging stroller is too big for the shoot. So TSA doesn't even let you take it through security because they have to check it from the, what do you call that? The counter. It has to be checked from the counter. So if you have like a baby in the infant seat that clicks into the stroller, which is what I had, I then had to take out Listen, it was a nightmare. <laughs> it was a nightmare! So, don't get a big stroller. And don't get a jogging stroller unless you're going to jog with it. Now, so I ended up borrowing uh, like a city jogger or one of those smaller ones that folds right up, compact, can go in the overhead bin. Uh, I borrowed one from my friend in Miami who has one and then I also borrowed one from a friend here who has one who knew I was going and I was actually looking to buy it from someone like secondhand and she was in the group that I asked and she just said listen I have one I'm not ready to let go of it but I can lend it to you so I borrowed it and we used it at like Disney World last year um, and it was really handy so a stroller is really handy guys for theme parks and that sort of a thing even if your child is walking because eventually they'll get tired and want to sleep and the stroller is perfect for that now so I didn't want to keep borrowing a stroller though right I mean I, I want to be able to just have it and go so the last time I was there I walked into a the same thrift store the same thrift store and I said to my husband outside I said you know I want a stroller I, I'm hoping to find a stroller a small one like the ones that we've been borrowing and he was like okay well we walked in and guess what I got it for $7.99 like it's a $250 stroller normally guys like I need you to understand what I'm saying thrifting is my first way of saving money my second way of saving money is, and there is no shame in my game, I don't really buy clothes for my son. Do I buy clothes for him? One and two things here and there, nothing to write home about, only if it's on sale. And when I say sale, I mean clearance. Only if it's clearance, really. In one of them discount stores too, like Burlington, Ross, uh, TJ Maxx, any of those, and they ha it has to be like when I say clearance, clearance. Why? Because I was lucky that when I gave birth, I have like another friend who gave birth a few months before me, and it's a boy. And that boy's rate of growth is what? Faster than lyrics. So, by the time he grows out of his clothes, say, um, I don't know, like, like say he grows out of them at six months, he would have been already in 12 months. And Lyric is really skinny, so Lyric will, might get to six months and still be in three months. So then, when we get the clothes from his parents, that are barely used by the way because he grows out fast so they're barely used they're like practically brand new and um and they're good clothes so we just go through choose what we like each time i see them and lyric
Rick has a whole new wardrobe each time. And he can wear them for longer because his rate of growth is slower. So he grows taller. He doesn't really grow bigger. So because of that, he's able to wear them. Like say he got something at six months that was 12 months. He can't really wear it at six months yet. But by nine months, he can start wearing it. And then he has until about 18 months to wear it. So we end up saving all that money that we would have spent on clothes. Plus, I don't know what your village is like, but my village actually gives him clothes. So for whatever it is, they say, oh, I saw this outfit. Here you go. His godmothers, my aunts, his grandma, all these people, like they just kind of give him clothes so and then because his rate of growth is up and not out he can wear them for a long time so we save on clothes now with shoes I have bought well m my sister has bought him shoes and my aunt has bought him like a little booty but I buy his shoes now but I told you in the first one that I thrift shoes right no no shame but I also in those Ross Burlington TJ Maxx I have a limit of how much I will spend on a shoe for him and that is $15 no ifs ands or buts about it 15 US dollars is the most I will spend on his shoes because he's gonna grow out of them in a few months and we're gonna have to buy more <laughs> so um I spent anywhere between three and probably the fifteen dollars. Um, typically, somewhere in the region of eight to twelve is the sweet spot of what I find, unless I've thrifted. Um, but even at thrifting, like I think I bought him a soccer cleats one time. I don't even know where those went, cause he's not used them yet, cause they were a little big. But they should be around his size now. Um, yeah, I'm really wondering what I did with those. Um, those were 15, obviously, because they had extra grip and whatever, right? Um, yeah. So, what else do I do? Well, I, um, obviously, I pack his lunches in the days. Um, so that that can reduce how much spending on the road I have to do. Um, and I can't take credit for that really because it's my husband that packs his lunches and where we can pack something that we get from our own garden we do that so we have an avocado tree we have a mango tree um, and then we have friends that gift us mangoes all the time because when I was pregnant I was uh, always craving mangoes so they knew and now they've still just always said mangoes <laughs> so those end up in his lunch and he loves mangoes because I guess he ate it so much when I was pregnant. Um, so things like that. Um, we do a lot of water for him to drink rather than juice. Um, so with the water, we don't have to really spend money because we, well, it would be the cost of the filter for the fridge, which is about $50 every six months, I think. Um, is what we pay in water, drinking water for our house because we all use the filtered water from the fridge. Um, so there's that. So that's how we save it in terms of consumption. Um, I do have him like in swimming and stuff like that. So that's not really a cost saving, so to speak but I feel like it's an investment so it could reduce the cost of my stress <laughs> later on. Um, you know, cause with him knowing how to swim, he can save his own life. Um, and that sort of a thing. Um, what else do I do to save money as a mommy? Now, um, we are going to Disney for his birthday um, which we did last year as well um, and how we do that is we um, make sure that we go we go with a cousin of mine who visits from out of town so she doesn't live in Florida and she goes and we go and we all stay together so that reduces cost 
um and we don't really so we kind of like for novelty items in the park we'll buy or or have those like a dole whip we're gonna have that right but in terms of food food we don't typically eat so much in the park um we bring snacks or we'll go um you know to eat somewhere after um just to to save some money because uh some of it is yeah, i mean it's normal food with like a lot of markup right so now it's not gonna break the bank if you're going for one or two days right but anywhere that you can save you try to save so um so that's one way that we do try to save and we and we i actually do a lot of research as to like what kind of souvenirs and how to pinpoint what to get ahead of time so research is a big deal for me and saving money so and that comes along with everything because then the flights are cheaper the wherever we stay is cheaper what we do is cheaper so um there's that so that's a big deal for me in terms of uh, finding ways to reduce costs because of course he's not going to end up remembering these trips right it'll be me and his father who remember the trips um but we have the the mementos or the memories of he will have the mementos we will have the memories of like his reactions and we'll have the pictures and the videos and all that great stuff um which he'll get to see but he won't remember it so for us to have something for him to keep till then to say hey you know I went even though I don't remember but this is what they got me so it's kind of one of those things where we make sure to think about it like I think last year it was like an anniversary edition truck that had all the characters on it for the 50th anniversary of uh, Magic Kingdom I believe um so and it was like a trailer truck and whatever and actually it was my aunt who actually gave me the money and said, hey, you're here, buy something nice for him for his birthday. And so that was like the best thing I could think of. I'm a big pin trader, so I chose to get him some pins as well. And he is the, it was like his birthday pin and my first visit to Disney pin and all those, you know, those little ones that are keepsakes. Um, so I did that for him. He got some Legos at Disney Springs. Um, and the Legos are, as we know, educational and that sort of a thing. So I didn't feel bad about anything that I got. And although they might be a little pricey, I didn't find them to be outrageous. I didn't feel like I broke any budgets. I didn't feel, I mean, I don't know if I'm saving money compared to something else. I got him a Rubik's Cube as well. I'm sure I spent more for that one. Um, but again, it was maybe $20 um, and it had all the characters on it. So it's a little more fun than just the colors. Um, so there are things like that that I got and I, I don't, I'm not regretting anything I spent there because I don't feel like I spent too much and I feel like, you know, if you want something with a character on it, you're going to pay for something with a character on it. So there's that. Um, what else is there? I feel like carrying his items, making everything go in, that's how you save the money because it's like, okay, so even when I thrift or when I'm in a normal store, whatever, um, well, he's allowed to get any toy that he picks up in the thrift store because... They're like two dollars three dollars take them home wash them and give it to him and that's it um and he's still playing with them to this day even stuff that he picked up when he was like six months old um but but the thing about it is if you care them you store them properly if you teach him to like pick it up off the ground and you know all those things like that will inevitably save you money because you know a lot of times I talk to people about like my collection of my bags because I'm a bag collector, right? And you know, they say, how do you have so many bags? And like the truth of it is that it's accumulation. And I always say that. I'm like, listen, this is a long time coming. This is not last year. This is not the last five years. This is like 
20 years, most of them. Um, you know, within the last 20 years, most of them. Um, some might even be before that. So that's how you end up having a lot of anything is by accumulation. But the only way to accumulate it is if you keep it. And in order to keep it, you have to take care of it typically or, you know, it breaks, it falls apart. You got to get rid of it, whatever. So I think in teaching him to care for these things saves me money because if he has a lot, which he has a lot now, um, because people give him stuff and everything like that, but he has a lot of toys, right? So in him having a lot, I don't have to buy more. And if you don't spend, you've saved <laughs> so that's the best way to save money is by not spending it so that's what I do as a mom let me know what you do as a mom to save money and even if you're not a mom what do you do to save money we're all on the quest to save money all the time so um let me know in the comments below let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video go ahead and tell me why in the comments and we'll try to work it out for the next one um, whatever you want to do this week, um, make it purposeful. Why not? Right. And thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell and comment down below and I'll see you next week, guys. Thanks guys. Bye.